Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It's time now for our Full Circle, where we yes. like to spend a little time discussing a subject that is important to us, and we hope that it resonates with you. Well, this week, Golden State Warrior Steph Curry penned an essay on Women's Equality Day about creating a world where his daughters and his son had the same opportunities. The role of a father or father figure is one that is important in the life of every child. And today we wanted to talk about the fathers that have impacted our lives or our own husbands or or ex-husbands or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and how they have impacted our lives. Um, I think I can uh, kick things off. I mean, my, my dad is just, uh, my, my parents are actually on their 50th um, wedding anniversary cruise. So they mm -hmm. left today, but my dad is, uh, that's my guy. He mm -hmm. is my guy. He is my guy. I will roll up. I'll curl up under his chest to this day. Mm -hmm. He really showed me what it means to be loved by a real man mm -hmm. and what to expect from a real mm -hmm. man. So I, you know, I had my little times where I had the not so good, the, the knuckleheads. Yeah. Um, but when I, when I knew Smitty was the one, um, and that was the only, well, he, he, him, uh, he and another guy that I bought home, but Smitty really, he was like, that one right there, and he loves Brian. Their birthdays are a day apart. I literally married my dad. He's a coach, <laughs> teacher, everything, but he just set the precedent mm -hmm. for what a man is, mm -hmm. how to care for your family. I mean, he had us under his wing every summer. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a teacher, so yeah, he was out yeah, for the yeah. summer, so there was no camp. It mm -hmm. was Camp Daddy. Yeah, that and was a good so, camp. Yeah, that was a great camp. Mm -hmm. I mean, hair, my hair was, I'm talking about, <laughs> <laughs> and that means not a bad thing, but it was napping to the exponential yeah. power. Yeah. We didn't do no and we swam every single day, but just the example that he is for me and now my daughters and nieces, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. they have the best, yeah, and I, I am so grateful for my relationship with my father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta tell you, it, I, I echo those same sentiments. It's it's so important to have, uh, you know, your father is the first man that's right. a young lady you've ever come to know. Yeah. And um, I, I just gotta. Yep. Uh oh. It's gonna okay. be good. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Tissue. Big ups, Dad. Tissue. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> but, Tissue but, but wizard. I, yes, but I just wanna say, like, everything in. in all that I am is, is because of my father, mm -hmm. and he had given so much to me. He took so much time out with me, mm -hmm. and you know, it, it used to seem like lectures, mm -hmm. um, but I hear them all the time, mm -hmm. even to this day. Yep. And uh, it was amazing to have had him in my life. I love him. I think of him all the time. All of the jewels that he placed in my crown. Mm -hmm. My God. Mm. My confidence. My sense of resilience and strength. Even in the dark days, I hear my father speaking. Yes. You're going to get through this. Mm -hmm. I am so grateful to have known him. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate everything that he done for myself and my brothers and my mom. She was so strong and supportive. At times, I thought she was quiet, and I, you know, I used to mistake her silence for mm -hmm. weakness, mm -hmm. but she was not. She was very bold, and I appreciate both my mom and my dad, mm. but just having my father. I, 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 used to, I used to be in the bed 30 years old. When I go home, I would get in the bed yeah. with my mom and dad and lay in between them and say, give me the covers. Yes. <laughs> I, 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 I did, and, um, you know, I miss those days, but um, I have those memories. Yes. Is your father no longer with us? Yes. No, he's not. He passed away about three years ago. Yeah. Yeah. He sees you doing amazing yes. things. Wish, you know, down. he sees you. Smiling down. Yeah. He sees you. He sees you. <sighs> I was, you know, I was doing, and I, and, and I know I got two more sisters. I'm going to wrap this up real quick, but I just got to get off my, I mm -hmm. was doing my photo shoot for the cookbook the other day, and I said, hey, God, I, I just wish he was there. I wish he could just. <laughs> okay, see. Don't take me out. I'm not trying to take myself out, but it's going that way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But he sees it. He sees it. You he see sees it. Cracking jokes. <laughs> there you go. He sees it. He sees it. Um, oh, Trina, you, try, you almost got you, you almost, almost got Rashad. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know, it's, it's, Trina was these you know, two was almost had him. Yeah, I had to think about Kelvin Myers and how he was going to kill me later. You yeah. know, that you know, this, you know. Yeah. Wow. Um, so I'm not going to start talking about dads. Yeah, just come up off of that. I think.
think, um, uh, well, y'all know me. I'm just a helpless and hopeless romantic. I'm going to talk about Von Scams. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. okay. And he is just an exemplary, exempl what I can't even think of the word right now, father. He raised three sons. They all went to college on scholarships. He helped other women in the neighborhood raise their children and help them with scholarships in school. Wow. And to this day, his sons even still tell them, you know what, Dad, you were hard. You were rough. You beat me down sometimes. But I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like your kids coming back and telling you, I thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I appreciate you, even in their old age now, to have, you know, someone just to come back and say, you know what? I'm gonna give you your flowers now. Yes. While yes. you can still receive them. Yeah. And I just think he's an excellent dude. And he is your special somebody. He, he is. But I, I need to fix this. I need to fix this word though, because I didn't say it right. Exemplary. There you go. Exemplary. There we go. There I had to, go. you know, mm -hmm. I yeah. do have a degree. <laughs> <laughs> And he's he's still my special friend, but the thing is, like Claude said, your father is the first man in your life. Yeah, yeah. And we use him as an example, and he's a strong man. Mm -hmm. Von is a very strong man. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna say this one little thing about him. <laughs> when he told me, and you know, I'm a little, we're a little alpha, we brag some chicks, a little alpha female. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When I had a conversation with him, he told me, you don't get to talk to me like that. Mm. I said, okay. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> so I thank God for strong alpha males mm -hmm. in the world. Yes, mm. yes. Selena, yeah. you gonna bring us home, sis? Well, I don't have groovy stories like y'all. Mm -hmm. Well, not groovy, but um, emotional stories yeah. like mm -hmm. you all. But when I look at you and I hear your stories of your father, it's, 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 um, it could almost take me out because I don't have that. Mm. And God. I love my father. My father is, um, everybody knows my father is an entertainer, Seal Johnson. Um, but being an entertainer is a very different, growing back up, is grow, you grew up in a very different setting. Your household mm. is very different. And I'm not saying that my father did not love us. I'm sure he loved us. He does love us and love us down, but it was very different. Yeah. I could not get in the bed and curl up mm -hmm. with Seal Johnson, child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But I tell you what, Mo Silla now, mm -hmm. that's my, my, my granddaddy. Mm -hmm. Mo Silla was a deacon down to the church that I sang in the choir. Mo Silla was the example of mm -hmm. what I thought a man should be. Mm -hmm. um, when I think of Mo Silla, I think of homemade ice cream. Mm -hmm. I think of how he cooked for my, he taught my grandmother how to cook. And I think about how he would get my, my cousins together if they didn't look like they get out of line and how he was always there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So Mo Silla is, to me, the, mo the closest thing to what you all yes. have had. Yes. I mean, I can go on for years about Kiwan. Everybody know Kiwan the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Kiwan probably with the kids like this. Right? <laughs> right, right, right. But my grandfather, um, he just was, he was so sweet to me. Now my mama tell a different story. Because that's, that's yeah. their daddy. Uh -huh. But my grandfather, we remember him having peppermints in his pocket all the time, child, mm -hmm. when, it was, when he came over and just being the calm. He could fix anything. He yeah. was just like a man's mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Love he it. is the only thing that I know of what a man should be, oh, yes. mm -hmm. you know, on how he treated my grandmother to us. Now, people have problems all, all in the world. Yeah, yeah. But my grandfather showed my grandmother respect. I love mm -hmm. that. And love mm -hmm. for all his grandchildren and all his children in my eyes. So I remember him that way. My late grandfather. Beautiful. What's his Mo name? Sil Mo, Mo Silla. Silla. I like Maddie that. and Moe's child. They had it engraved in the porch in their the house. <laughs> and down Mo to the Silla. Robins, Illinois. I love it. <laughs> yes, wow. Well, we'd love to hear how you feel. Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all of our social media platforms.